Fusion Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. What is electrolysis? Electrolysis is the chemical composition of a compound brought by by the introduction of direct currents passing through a solution. The solution that we're talking about here, any solution that allows this electric, um, the electric currents to run through it and thereby decomposes is known as an electrolyte. And the metal or whatever medium which is used to transfer the electricity into the electrolyte is recognized as electrode. The positive electrode is known as the anode. It is the one that carries electricity into the electrolytes and at the same time electrons leave the electrolyte through the anode. While the cathode is that part, that metal or that object that takes electricity out of the electrolyte and at the same time it takes in the electrons. The differences between electrolytes and non-electrolytes in a quick review. Um, electrolytes conduct electricity, non-electrolytes don't. Electrolytes do ionize, non-electrolytes don't. Electrolytes generally have ionic bonds. Non-electrolytes have um, covalent bonds, dative bonds, van der Waals forces binding them together, hydrogen bonds and such kind of bonds. Electrolytes are usually non they are usually inorganic compounds, while non-electrolytes are majorly organic in nature. The laws guiding electrolysis. Um, Faraday's first law of electrolysis states that the mass of the element discharged during the during an electrolytic, electrolytic process is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity that passes through it. And the second law also states that the same quantity of electricity is passed when the same quantity of electricity is passed through different electrolytes, the relative mass of molecules of the element discharge is inversely proportional to the charges of the ions of the element. Use of electrolysis. Electrolysis is used in the extra extraction of metals, is used in the purification of metals, is used in preparing some chemicals, and also used in the electro uh, electroplating of metals. Electroplating of metals simply has to do with protecting metals by laying a, another type of metal over the first metal that is to be protected. The electrochemical cells. An electrochemical cell is a device that converts chemical energy into electrical energy. This, um, sometimes they are also called volatile cells, they are called uh, galvanic cells. Basically what they do is they convert the chemical energy, they convert it into electrical energy Value via the use of um, via, um, the transfer of um, the, the movement of the electrons from the chemicals, and this half of the time use the electrolytic process. It usually contain it consists of two half cells. The first half of the cell is the oxidation half of the cell, where oxidation reaction do occur, and the second half is the um, reduction half, where the reduction process. To occur. We have a, an example on the slide showing both the oxidation and the reduction size and also showing the full cell equation. Electrochemical series. The electrochemical series um, is an arrangement of electrons, uh, of um, elements, in accordance to the standard electro, electro potentials with the most negative at the top and the least negative, um, that's the most positive at the base. And what is the electrode potential? Electrode potential of an, a metal ion or a metal system is the potential difference set up between the metal and one molecule of the solution of its ion, ions at 25 degrees C. Now, um, hydrogen we know is a, a metal slash non-metal and it has a, 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 a voltage of zero. That's the standard that is set. Hydrogen is set is used as the standard. So those which have um, higher, uh, those which have um, higher um, electro potentials have positive, have negative, uh, have positive potentials, and those who have lower have negative. Now the most electronegative ele elements do, of course, we have um, potassium topping the league, and we have calcium and sodium. The others going like that. And at the base, we have the hydroxy ion, we have the nitric, um, the tetrazosulfate ions, and the likes. Corrosion. 
Corrosion is an electrochemical process in which metals react with oxygen in the presence of moisture in, in, in the, that is available in the atmosphere and they form oxides. It's, it is an electrochemical process. The reason why it's called an electrochemical process is because the metal actually is being oxidized and for the metal to be oxidized it has to go through a, a redox reaction and that is where the electrochemical part of it comes in. The electron gets exchanged, it gets moved and corrosion can be prevented by coating a metal which is highly corrosive by another metal which is less corrosive or does not corrode and this is usually done by another process, another electrochemical process of uh, electroplating. Electroplating is also an electrochemical process is as good as uh, is it's done in the process of electrolysis. Fusion Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go.